Hey guys, Johnny here, CCXRC, and yes, I am alive. It's been a while since I posted a video. I've been very busy. The last video I posted, I was in Port-au-Prince, Haiti, and I was uh, talking about how to travel with a DJI Phantom. Well, I'm back, and I'm gonna explain a little bit about where I've been and what I'm doing right now and why I've been a little bit slow on getting anything up since I got back from Haiti. And I've got a couple of updates to share with you about RC. I'm gonna pull the camera here off of this little device and go through a couple of quick little things here. So first off, I just wanna give a shout out to Jeff Thorpe at Poppy's RC. I've got him up here on the board with a great roll call of people and companies, uh, as well as Paul Taylor with the road hog recovery ropes now he also sent me uh, a couple of ropes there's a 36 inch and a 24 inch purple rope so let me just pull one of these out of here for you i've already opened them up there we go check out these ropes that he's done these are hand woven and uh, you can see how nicely he's put them together here so thanks so much paul and jeff for uh the awesome stickers for these really awesome uh, recovery ropes as well as some uh, notes here from both of them that I received uh, very nice notes from them I've got some stuff going on with the Jeep but uh, I'll share that in just a second so here's kind of what's been taking up a lot of my time my boys and I have been getting back into I've been getting back into aquariums and the hobby of uh, having fish and uh, tanks and so we've got several different little tanks here. We ran out and so we have just a plastic drawer uh, with a bubbler and everything going on here. Um, but that hasn't really taken up my time. My time right now has been building this shelf. So everything in the garage is torn apart right now as I've been building this really beefy stand. You've got um, basically can hold three levels of tanks. The bottom are going to be 20 gallon tanks going long ways. They're uh, stacked right here. And there's a big 40 gallon breeder tank that's gonna go in the middle. Not sure what I'm gonna do up top here yet, but because of all of the weight of the water, you have to carry supports that hold these all the way down to the floor so that uh, the weight is uh, being carried. And I, I'm actually missing, I need to get a support in there still. So, um, yeah, very, very busy building this. I'm right now in the first coats of paint and then uh, waterproofing it, so with the moisture coming out of the tanks. So that's kind of what I've been doing uh, this since I got back from Haiti. Uh, a lot of my time has been building this, which has had tools and stuff everywhere, and the garage is just torn apart. I just cleared the bench so I could work on uh, just shooting a little update video here. So. Uh, I've got my SCX-10 out on the bench, getting ready for some work to be done. Again, this is my dual motor system. And uh, what I've got here is a light bucket kit, the AX80045 axial light buckets to put in here to make it look a little bit more scale. But it's not actually gonna go in here. I've got another box here from Shapeway. So I've been waiting for this stuff to get in the mail this came in um, right before I went to Haiti. This took a little bit longer because these are 3D printed on demand. So let me show you what I've got in here. Some of you guys probably already know. Um, but this comes from Knight's Customs. And this is the Angry Eyes uh, grill. And uh, it's got this cool radiator and, and mounting kit uh, to put your light buckets in. And so this gets cut out here to be able to install this cool angry eyes on the front with the light buckets and so that's my next project that I'm going to be working on uh, really really nice product really uh, really good quality printing that they do uh, at Shapeways so I'm really excited I'm gonna leave it black really toughen up the front of the Jeep here kind of customize it a little more because it still looks pretty stock um, I haven't gotten the light kit yet to put in there but um, that's the next project. I'm planning to get out this weekend and do some 
trailing. And of course, I'll probably take the X-Max out. You can see the shelvings right now being shared with some fish stuff, uh, spare cartridges and all of that. So I'm going to be able to get, probably I'm going to take this stuff and put it on that top shelf to get some of my bench back here. Because I didn't plan on encroaching so much on my area. But the boys kept wanting more fish and this tank is already, it's actually overcrowded and it's doing really well. We've had very minimal loss um, in this tank. Um, one or two of them actually I think probably came sick from the pet store uh, because you know we've done a really good job keeping up on all of the chemicals uh, or not not keeping up on the chemicals but doing water tests and everything's you know it's cycled really well so I'm not gonna get into all of the fish stuff here on this channel but I did want to give you just a little update to share what I've been doing and why I've been away and I'll let you know that more videos are coming soon now that I'm getting my space worked out the tanks are going over to the other side of the garage I've cleared space in here and uh, so now we can enjoy both hobbies the boys really really enjoy the fish so we've got tanks for them to be able to choose what they want to be able to put in and uh, I'll get my space back here on the the RC bench but I'll probably be doing some fish videos on a fish channel, you know, just because I like making videos. So, anyway, guys, I'm going to be checking in on uh, the Google Plus, uh, the forums. They're not really forums, but the different communities and pages and seeing what everybody's been up to. I've been trying to keep up and watching videos, but I have fallen a bit behind, but I'll be back on. You'll be seeing me commenting. So, uh, we'll check you guys later. Have fun RCing.